right, Gene Gallon here with the Chatham Journal, and I'm with Coach Eisenhower here at Northwood, and we're going to be talking about the Northwood Chargers Stampede 5K race. This is the second year you're doing this, is that right, Coach? Correct. And uh, tell us a little bit about it. When's it coming up? How long does it last? And give me give us some details. So the Chargers Stampede um, this year will be virtual. You will um, use Strava to track your run and uh, send it to a Google form where I will um, correct the results. The deadline for registration is Sunday, March 13th. And if you want a t-shirt with your registration, the deadline is March 7th. Um, the race will take place anywhere on your own. You can run anytime, anywhere between Sunday, March 14th and Saturday, March 20th. And you can also participate via team. A team can consist of three people or more. And if you're at a Chatham County school, you can register as a school team. Um, be it kids, parents, coaches, um, boosters, etc. How many people can be on a team? Um, unlimited, okay. but it's a minimum of three. All right, and what are the registration fees? The registration fee is 30 for an individual and 25 for both the team and school 5K. All right, and this is the second year you're doing it, but this year you're doing it virtually. Correct. Now we're on the Northwood campus out here. However, I can run anywhere I want to, is that correct? Correct. You can run on the road, on the treadmill, on a trail, on a track, around your neighborhood. Um, it's up to you and you can run whenever you want. If you want to run in the morning or late at night. And do I have to do my 5K all at one time or will Strava allow me to break it up or am I allowed to break it up? Um, if you need to break it up, you can break it up. Um, we're trying to get um, people in the Pittsburgh area moving. Um, so you can pause and finish later as long as you complete the 5K, which is uh, 3.1 miles. All right. And Strava is an easy app to download for both iPhone and Android. Is that correct? Correct. Um, I will post a quick video on the website that shows you. It takes less than uh, two minutes to download, and it's free. Okay. And we'll post, we'll post the website. Uh, you, you, you register online. Is that correct? Correct. You register uh, through Run Sign Up. All right, so we'll, we'll, we'll post that at the bottom of the video so that you're able to go ahead and do that. Important thing to remember is March 7th if you want a t-shirt. Yes, please register by March 7th. Um, the t-shirts will be provided um, by M2 Graphics in Pittsburgh. All right, so a local, local place, and yes. everybody knows M2 Graphics. Big attachment, been, been doing a lot with Northwood. Uh, any suggestions as to how, how things go last year when you did this? Um, it went really, really well. Um, we had 63 participants. My goal is to um, exceed that this year. It was fun with music and Cardinal Race Services timing our race last year and seeing everybody's faces. But unfortunately, due to COVID-19, we were unable to host it in person this year. But next year, we hope to be back on Northwoods campus. Great. Now, uh, a lot of participation. You're, you're okay with people taking selfies as long as... As, as long as they run safely, is that right? Correct, yes. So, so folks, you can make this in, in, into a fun thing. 63 people, come on, folks. Chatham County, Pittsburgh, we can, we can hit at least 100 this year. So let, let's go ahead and do that. And the most important part of all of this is not only is it fun but healthy, but what is the, what's the driver behind this? Where does the money that's raised by this event go? Um, this goes directly to the kids. It takes care of uh, gas to our meats and meat entry fees. It also helps cover um, snacks and water, um, as well as seating and tents that go towards the athletes. And as you know, cross country is a non-revenue sport, so your donations are um, helpful. All right, and we were talking about this before we started recording. Your, your team has actually done pretty well this season? Yes, um, the men's team, um, they finished back-to-back -back eighth place um, at the state meet. With the realignment, they'll be the returning uh, number one team in 3A. On the girls' side, we qualified for regionals and had a fourth place, which in normal years would qualify us for the state meet. Um, Caroline Merle, she finished 10th, earning all state honors, the first male or female to do that as a Northwood runner in 3A. And the nine girls in front of her will also be moving up to 4A. So you're pretty proud of what, what the team's done. And probably you've got a good good setup for next year, as you said. Yes, I'm only losing um, three seniors on the men and three seniors on the women. And we do have depth on the men's team, and we do have rising talent on the women's team. All right, so folks, you need to register. We'll provide a link. Uh, Money Ghost, again, non-revenue sport pretty much, but they need your support. Need to hit. Hey, it's our kids here in our community. Listen up to Coach Eisenhower. Sign up, uh, download the app, and start running.
Anything else we need to let folks know out there in Pittsburgh and Chatham County? I think that's all, Gene. Thank you so much. All right, thank you.